Okay, that was a uh, noted crazy lady conspiracy theorist, uh, Sidney Powell, Sasquatch. Yes. Uh, Does she have any evidence okay. for um, that? No, his he died in a three vehicle crash on the I. Right. No, he was blown up. Okay. He was blown up. Yeah, okay. you could see. Yeah, yeah. Um, in fact, there's video footage that uh-huh. hasn't. Mm-hmm. You know, they've tr- they've taken it off the internet, but there was uh, video footage of um, Biden. Uh, depressing uh oh like a acme exactly bomb. The, yeah you know yeah, yeah the, dynamite uh, yeah plunger, yeah plunger. i heard there was the exploding plunger. there was exploding bird seed found in the car yeah and, and an anvil and yeah a, and a, a, a movable hole in and a mountain rocket skates and yeah. uh and an acme receipt yeah, yeah. Uh, right right <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it's, it's so clear that yeah piano with a rope. was behind all of it and Safe on uh, a rope Safe on a rope, pardon yeah. me. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. This is, uh, I'm wow. so glad that the Kraken lawyer is talking about this because this is yeah. the kind of thing that the American people need to know about. And if he had gotten a little further down the road um, before he blew up, he was going to hit quicksand anyways. Sure. Because well, they, and, and or pull a piranha. Yeah. Oh, yes. Yes. Yeah. Uh, that was something that Hillary Clinton put there. So you tweeted, "Why can't these frauds be stopped?" And I, why can't they? I was saying, I is there more crazy people like her and all these state people, or are we just hearing more from them? I I don't. I mean, she's a crazy person. Oh, she's really a crazy yeah. person. Yeah. I mean, I I would listen if I if I I would listen to an album of her. Oh wait, I have more than I love hearing. Oh, her. here here's some more. Governor Kemp was considering, I think, at that point, a signature audit. And then the Georgia Bureau of Investigation agent who was investigating that, he was the lead investigator, was suddenly dead within a week. And suddenly we don't hear anything else about Mm. any of that. We are talking about trillions of dollars Mm. of global wealth at issue here. Mm. The leadership and control of of the most powerful country on the face of the earth. Yeah. Oh, boy. She really hit the nail on the head there. Yeah. Uh, if I had any idea what she was saying, I, I but I can tell it's correct. Um, you know, it's like she has run mm. some sort of a computer program to find words that right. are going to, you know, because if you because there's really no logic to what she just no, said. But not at all. Powerful trillions. Uh, suddenly, right. suddenly. Yeah. Global, a week later. Global wealth dead dead okay suddenly by the way a week is not sudden here's what else we found out in the woodward book is that uh she got out crazy by giuliani yeah okay no. a month after losing the november election uh trump sought to appoint kraken lawyer Sidney powell as special counsel to investigate his false claims of election fraud and attempt to overturn the results um however when giuliani got wind of powell's possible appointment he raced to the white house still putting on his tie and presumably pulling his pants up because he okay right. Giuliani gruffly told Powell she had to start looping him into her legal work no more surprises she was sharp in response she said you never get back to me when I do read your texts Giuliani shook his head not true you're the one keeping me in the dark he probably because he was too drunk he didn't see that he got a text okay yeah that's quite not important yeah. now but um okay um so that was the end of that Trump never appointed her as special counsel Giuliani's massive ego appears to have saved the country from another disaster Really? Oh, he um, saved the country over and over again, this guy. Um, Trump also at the same time was proposing appointing Powell as a special counsel. He also suggested he would use the National Emergencies Act to seize all the voting machines. Oh. Paul, this, I don't know how you feel about this Woodward book, but I, it should be called now a warning because I'm like, this is how close we were to losing our entire democracy. What did Bob Woodward know and when did he know it? Yeah. Now a warning? <laughs> I mean, okay. I, you know what's weird? Okay. First of all, I, like every few days, another book comes out, right. and each one has like a, a little, it's a little bit more explosive yes. than the last. And you just wonder, like, where, okay, where does this end? I would, I, okay, anybody, you know what? Let's just open up the phones. Anybody, the next, anybody who's writing a book about Trump or it's about to be published, if you could just call in and say hello, hello, can you hear me? <laughs> that would be informative. In the fact, problem with not, we were just talking to Glenn Kirshner. The problem with not prosecuting a coup is this is ongoing. This one, this is just one, right? Today, yeah. a former GOP congressman who's been appointed to resolve a major dispute concerning Arizona's fraud, as mm-hmm. you would say, Paula. 
uh, attended a pro-Trump rally on November 4th where Republicans pushed false claims of erection, election, erection fraud, which is a different thing oh, entirely. That's gosh, a different that thing. That is the I word. I hate yeah. erection fraud. Okay, yeah, that's, when yeah. it turns out, it's and yeah, they were just holding it up with their hand. <laughs> That miracle, <laughs> not, not cool, dude. Yeah, Maricopa. that is like Jesus. Didn't come I, to attack I, I thought for sure. Oh, fraud, erection fraud. Yeah, that's like when all my shrimp died the night before the science fair in eighth grade, and I just stirred them up before the judges came by, so it looked like they were swimming, but they were really. Now that was that was science fraud, uh, that not, was erect, science not erection fraud. fraud, but yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm surprised. That's like holding a, him holding it up. That's more like resurrection fraud. Yeah, right, oh. right. Resurrection fraud. Yes. Yeah. I, yeah. 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 Oh, right. really? Yeah. Yes. You, I am an eighth grade rolled, fraud. The rock rolled away. And, well, the uh, light bulb and, went and, out. And the, the light bulb burned out the night before and they all died. Oh, is that, oh, did they have to have light? That's how you grew shrimp. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. yeah. Well, sea monkeys. It was kind of a lazy science fair project. Yeah. It was just the thing you bought. It wasn't really, I wasn't very good at science. Okay. Here's. <laughs> no. Were you good at Come math? On, were you no. Good at no. Nothing. That's why I do this. Yeah. That's why I talk in my basement. Yeah. Not, you... Like I said about Larry Elder, we're not qualified to do anything. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No. And thank goodness you said it because I was that close to writing, thank, yeah. you know. Thank you. Yeah. Checking his name off. Sure. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> wow. Well, wow. Okay. So anyway, this guy, uh, the impartial official who will examine Arizona election equipment attended the pro-Trump big live rally. This is the, he's trying to get all Trumpers into these offices to, you know, count the votes or just go, oh, fraud. I'm just going to throw it out. Trump yeah. won in 2024. Right. So he, uh, he, uh, a Maricopa County supervisor, said he finds it very troubling. Former Rep- Representative John Shattuck was appointed special master as part of an agreement between the county and the Republican-controlled state Senate. The agreement resolved a dispute over access to routers and other election equipment. He will hire his own team of experts to examine the equipment. Oh, keeping it out of the hands of the cyber ninjas. Oh. So the second crazy person gets it instead of the initial crazy people that had the actual... I don't know much about this this democracy, Paul. I know you're not supposed to take election equipment to a cabin in Montana and violate it. No, that's no, what they did. Because a lot of those guys have um, uh, little Swiss Army knives, and they'll take those machines apart mm-hmm. and do stuff uh, to them. And then the next time you vote, when you you know when you push uh, when you when you click on who you want to elect, it's going to make a <laughs> sound. Right. Yeah. Uh, that? Thank you. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Oh, this right. is so much more professional. I was thinking, you know, if you, you can't get your f- fart, what is it? The fart, fart machine two. Fart machine <laughs> two. If you can't get it working, you could just eat some gassy foods. Sure. And well, generate have, your own while we, you go through. We have quite an extensive. <laughs> you go you know, through. I don't see why you can't have. Okay, in our in my neighborhood, there's a lot of people with um, kids in like a little. Uh, wagon in front of their mm-hmm. bike. It yeah. now goes in the front. Yeah. So if they're in a wreck, you know, the kids get taken out and they're sure. okay. But, um, you know, if somebody runs a light, doesn't matter. Yeah. You know, sure. you can always get more of those. We right. know where those came from. Um, but <laughs> I don't see why you can't ride your bike with with Chris, uh, with the board, yeah. in, the, in one of those little cart things in front of your bike. Oh, and there, then that's he an can idea. Ma- well, and I need a big cart for Chris. And they do have a wide range also, of sound effects. There may be some OSHA laws involved yes. as well. Yes, yeah, there <laughs> might be some workplace harassment things that might... Okay, uh, anyway, uh, Paula, you're, you're, you, you have children, you're a parent. I so am. can you explain to me why the security is so tight on the fart machine too? You literally, I needed a special, a pen knife didn't work, or that I had to get a special mini screwdriver to open. Is there some national security threat involving children being able to change batteries in a fart machine. Oh, which children and batteries do not mix. Oh. 